There has been a fundamental inequality in medicine against women, dating all the way back to ancient times. In Aradius on Hysterical Suffocation, he so boldly claims that in the middle of the flanks of women lies the womb, a female viscous, closely resembling an animal, for it is moved of itself hither and thither in the flanks, also upwards in a direct line to below the cartilage of the thorax. He's claiming that the womb moves up and down in a straight line, mouth all the way down, and also claims that this movement can get stuck in a woman's throat and kill her. Um, this is obviously very false, and there is still fundamental inequality that takes place in the medical field. Take, for example, the fact that women lab rats only had to be used as recently as 2016. Previously, only male lab rats had been used. And the epidemic of dismissal by doctors of women's voices in the medical rooms. Thank you. I hope you learned something.